I am still in Portland and I'm actually waiting for my husband to walk through the door at any moment. We are on our way out to lunch and I am so ready. I cannot wait to eat. Haven't eaten today and it's a little afternoon. So yeah, I'm good and ready. We're leaving tomorrow going back to California and I am hoping when I get there, the fabric that I ordered online will be in my mailbox. I'm excited to get back and hopefully start sewing if my fabric is there. So I'll keep you posted. We are heading to the airport right now. We went to this event last night and I had on one of my favorite sewing makes. And this lady walked past me and she dropped a drink. And it was like a pinkish red color. She dropped it on my duster. I'll put a picture up. And she was so nice though. She took it and took it to the bathroom and she said she was gonna put some club soda on it to get the stain out. And it came out and the whole time she was gone, I was praying like, please let this stain come out. But it came out and everything was good. And I got a notification that one of my packages from Cali Fabrics came in the mail that is delivered. So I'm excited to open that up. I just opened my fabric that came in the mail. One was from Cali Fabrics, which was this denim fabric here. And it's really stiff, so I'm gonna have to wash this and put some maybe fabric softener in here and see if I can kind of loosen it up a little bit. I do like it though. And then from Fashion Fabrics Club, I picked up this like green and black striped fabric. I actually thought this was a little bit more stretchy than it is. So the dress that I have in mind, I'm not going to use this for it because I wanted something that had like a four way stretch. And this is like, it reminds me of like t-shirt kind of fabric. So it doesn't stretch as much as I wanted it to. So I'm going to use this for something else, <laughs> not my intended purpose. And I'm trying to find the little sticker that's on here just in case you may want to pick some of it up. Here it is. Here is the little sticker. It's a nice fabric and I did pick up three yards of it so I'll be able to find something to make out of it but just not the dress that I had in mind. So I'll probably end up going to Joanne Fabrics or something and seeing if I could find me some four-way stretch knit fabric. I am about to go shopping for some fabric. I don't think I'm gonna go to Joann's after all, so I'll keep you posted on where I go. But I am wearing this vintage Sherpa sweatshirt and this McCall's hat that I made, I think last week or so. I really like it. So it's a Sherpa kind of day, and then I think I'm just gonna pair this outfit with some boots. And I'm out the door. There is so much traffic. I don't know what's going on. I'm only going about 20 miles an hour. So hopefully I'll get to where I'm going in a decent amount of time. Okay, it looks like it's getting better now. So I found some fabric that I am so happy about. Oh, I love it. I ended up going to this place called Fabric Outlet and Crafts. I've been there before and I've shared it before on my channel. And the fabric that I found was only $2.99. Yay! So couldn't beat that. And then I ended up stopping by Joanne Fabrics, which is where I'm leaving right now. I wanted to pick up some thread to match the fabric. I just really like my thread to match perfectly or as close to perfect as I can get it. So they didn't have any thread that matched very well at the fabric outlet store. So I just stopped at Joann's and picked up some and I'm so happy with it. So the dress that I'm gonna be making is the Nomi dress that's kinda scrunchy with the scrunchy front, the scrunchy back and the scrunchy sleeves. I really love that dress and I wanted some fabric that had a lot of stretch to it. So yeah, I cannot wait to get this dress all sewn up. I think it's gonna be really, really cute. Out of habit, I came in here and I folded this fabric in half like I always do before I cut out some fabric. And then when I opened up the pattern directions, it has you cut out all the pieces in one layer. 
So now I need to put this in one layer and I'm going to make sure the right side of the fabric is facing up. Both sides kind of look the same, but this right side is a little bit brighter than the other side. I love this fabric. I love the color. It's really, really nice. And I think I actually bought a little more than I need. I bought three yards, but I figured that would be plenty to cut out all these pieces. And I did cut out a size eight. So can you see me? <laughs> okay, the pieces are pretty big too. I knew I wouldn't be able to get all this on my island or my table since it's so wide. So I just thought I would cut everything out on the floor. Let me show you how big these pieces are. Okay, this is the back. Okay, how big that is. Can you see it? This is a big old back piece. This is what the sleeve. This is the right front. I hope you can see how big these pieces are. And this is the left front. And I actually need to go ahead and get the direction so I can figure out how to lay these pieces out properly. I also need my laser level. I love to use my laser level so that I can make sure that I'm getting the pieces straight on the grain line. I already put my little mat under here. So, and this is like my little messy bucket full of all my sewing notions. Let me show you. Can you see that? It's kind of dark. I'll take a picture, but yeah, it has all my notions in it. So I just take this from room to room. All right, let me figure this out. Okay, this is the right front and I'm going to cut this out once. And this is the, what is this, the left front. This will be cut out once. That's the sleeve. It has to be cut out twice. So I'll cut it out one time and then flip it over and cut it out a second time. pieces cut out I changed my needle I had a denim needle in there so I put a stretch needle which is 75 and 11 that's the one I used and I also put on my walking foot so now I'm about to go ahead and get started sewing the first step is to put the left front and the right front pieces together so I'm gonna go ahead figure out where they are because I have all these pieces I just kind of put them all together and now I need to like separate them, figure out what's what, put everything together and start sewing. I love this part. Okay, so after reading the directions a little more closely, I realized that before I can put the front and the back, no, the is it the front and the back? The right front and the left front together, I actually have to put a narrow hem down here at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I really like using this wash away tape it just makes things a lot easier to do so i'm just going to put this on the bottom create my narrow hem and then after that i can go ahead and put the left front and the right front together This pattern is rated as easy i'm just pressing my seams open so that i can sew 
really close to the edges and then be able to thread some elastic through here to create a casing. So you wanna really make sure if you do decide to sew this dress that you don't use your serger on these seams because then you won't be able to press the seams open so that you can place your elastic through. I am currently feeding the elastic through the front casing. And if you like this dress but you don't want to do all the ruching, you can totally leave it out. So you can put the dress together and just not put the elastic through the seams. And it should come together just fine. And in fact, for me, I plan not to put any elastic in the sleeves. So I'm gonna put it in the front, the back, and then not in the sleeve area. I did pin the dress on the dress form just to kind of get an idea of how everything is looking. This pattern is made to be kind of like reversible. So you can make the front and turn it around and wear it in the back, or you can take the back of the dress and have that be your front. But for me, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and leave this as the front of the dress. I like how that's looking and I like the ties there on the side. So this is a little bit of an idea of how it is going to look when it's all done. It did take a little bit of time to thread the elastic through the casing, but it wasn't hard to do. And now that it's in there, I think it looks really cute. So yeah, this is gonna be the front of the dress. I'm all finished with the dress. I really like it. Let me show you the back. Here's the back with the ruching. I think that looks so nice. I just need to try it on. And like I mentioned, I did not put any elastic in the sleeves. And it's all finished. It didn't take very long either. So I'm happy about that. Here is the dress backwards in my case with the centered ruching going down the front. I like the dress this way also, but I think the way that I will wear it most often is with the ruching centered down the back. I really love how that looks. So one of them is a vintage pattern and it is Simplicity 9848. I think this dress is so cute and it can be made up in many different fabrics so I love that about it. The next pattern I picked up is Simplicity 9871. It's a hat pattern and I think this hat pattern is so cute and it will be a perfect way to use up some scraps. 